Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Maida and you're watching Maida Fours. Thank you so much for joining me today. It's your first time here. You are very welcome. And if you're a turning viewer, well, welcome back, friend. It's so good to see you again. And you are joining for another Coast to Coast Boring Collab. I am starting us out today. It's just going to be me, Britta, and Christine today. Garrick will be joining us next time. And since it's my turn to start, that means it's also my turn to come up with our challenge. And I decided to go with a tried and true classic technique. That's what I consider this. An open cut pour is one of the most classic, um, old school, original types of acrylic pouring. Although I did find out that Christine has never done one before, so be sure to check out her video, <laughs> which is rounding out our collab today. And I didn't mean to give her such a challenge. I didn't realize she'd never done one before. So sorry, Christine, but I thought it turned out so amazing and great. I can't wait to see it. So I have my materials here. And for an open cup, I just cut off the bottom piece of one of my regular plastic cups. I like to have the sort of rounded rim be the part that touches the canvas. I do have my palette mixed up. Um, so let's go over that really quick. Um, so this is going to be the base coat here. And this is actually something that I mixed up on my own. Now it's maybe reading black on the camera, but hopefully you can kind of see. This is, I mix this up as a little bit of black, like a squeeze of black, and you know how black is gonna overpower. And then quite a bit of dioxazine purple, and then a little bit of Payne's gray. So I would say this is a very purpley, dark, 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 rich, rich, rich purple, um, because I didn't wanna do just, I didn't want to do just black. Um, sorry, trying to get the camera to read it properly is difficult. Um, <laughs> and then I have my gold here, which is Iridescent Gold Fine by Golden Fluid Acrylic, one of my most favorite colors. This is Aquamarine by DecoArt Extreme Sheen. Also, I, I have all my favorite colors here, so just. <laughs> We've got Quinacridone Magenta by Golden Fluid. Um, then we've got Payne's Gray, which is also reading very dark. And this is Golden Fluid Payne's Gray, which reads much more navy than gray. To me, it's more blue than gray, but um, it's just one of my favorites. So I have to throw it in here. It might kind of, you might not really be able to see it with the dark background, we'll see. And then last but not least is Berry. Now this is another extreme sheen color. Can we focus? Can we focus camera? There we go. So this is one of, I just love this color. It's so beautiful. So there we go. That is the pink cup. Kind of distributed here. Okay, there's a lot of bubbles in here because I literally just mixed up this paint. And so I'm going over it super fast with my torch. Probably still some in there. I'll probably torch that again. All right. So. I'm going to, I'm gonna start on this corner and try to pull it and drag it over here and then stretch that out. I'm okay with a lot of empty space or negative space on this canvas if that is, how it, you know, plays out. I'm going to start with this gold because honestly, I want to see this gold against that purple, maybe underneath the pour, like kind of as a nice background glow. Oh, I think there was a lump in my paint. I'm going to have to keep an eye out for that. It might've just been a bubble though. Okay, I'm reserving some. I think I might try to do two layers. We'll see. So gold, I'm going to go ahead and put the quinacridone next to the gold, because if that blends, I know I'm going to love the blend. 
love the color it creates if it does mix. I always think about that when I lay my paints next to each other. I'm very conscious of what it will look like if they mix together. And that doesn't mean they always mix together. It all depends on how you mix your paints. Ooh, look at that. It's starting to come out. I kind of want to torch that just a little bit. Just with those two colors and the purple. Neat. Okay. Um, so I did the quinacridone. I'm going to come in with some of this aquamarine. So the extreme sheen is going to definitely, I think, create a different kind of cell um, reaction than the golden fluids. At least that's the idea. And then I'm going to come in with the berry. neat looking before I do anything else I'll bring you in for a close-up I know that you probably can't see and then I'm gonna come in in the top with the Payne's gray I just want to show you what's happening I haven't like torched or anything the the aquamarine always makes such beautiful cells, which is one of the reasons why you can see those cells growing in there. Neat. Debating, I'm going to torch again, debating as I should do. Woo! Whoops, I just melted that cup. That's lesson. Lessons for y'all. Don't get your torch too close to a plastic cup. <laughs> I'm gonna keep going with it. <laughs> Not gonna let it stop me. I'm gonna do another layer. Use the last of my gold. And I do my quinacridone. It's coming over the side, but I'm going. Oh. I'm gonna let it. <laughs> I'm gonna let it sort of float on down on its own, I guess. <laughs> um, what did I do next? Aquamarine. And the pain's gray. The loop of the pain's gray. Oh, it's so cool. I kind of made rings by doing the two layers. Okay. We're gonna go ahead and kind of spin and walk this down. And pops. Neat. I'm gonna torch just to see what opens up. I'm gonna bring this very little edge of the purple. And I'm going to tilt it off, but I wanted to save as much as I can on this corner. I kind of like how that is. Okay. <clears throat> I 
Now it's tilting time. I don't want to go too fast. I do want to get it up and over that corner. So I'm going to go ahead and spread it over these edges just with this little swiper thing that I have right here. Mostly just to sort of help it out. We're going to stretch it still, but I want to give it a little help. Give it a little help. It's really galactic is what I'm feeling, but I'm definitely getting some spacey galaxy vibes from this one. Okay. Oh, is it going to completely stretch out? What do I, do I just want to go ahead and let it? Do you think I could pull it back and build? Like, I like the idea of keeping at least some of the corner dark. Like, I like this, I really like this color <laughs> that I mixed up and I like want to see it in the, in the background, I guess. Same thing here. Get it over and bring it back. Or bring it back. Okay, I think I did it. I got it over everywhere. And then I brought it back. And then I brought it back. Okay, so we've got these like big giant bouldery extreme sheen cells like all throughout oh, I don't want to hold on gloves off I was just like poured my dripping glove the torch Wow. Wowie zowie. I think this is pretty amazing actually. Okay, so let me bring you in here. Okay, you know, I sat here and I stared at this for the longest time thinking of like, if I wanted to do anything or add anything or change it in any way and I've decided I don't. I don't. I like it the way that it is. I think it's great. Beautiful, classic, open cup pour. Love this like little area here. It's like the explosion part here is where it's like, looks like it's giving birth to a new galaxy here. That's what it reminds me of. Uh, um, really cool. I'm excited to see how this one dries. I'm hoping it's fully dry and I can show it to you. Fingers crossed. Um, if not, it'll be almost completely dry and we'll see how it is. So stay tuned to see how this puppy dries. Oh, I'm excited to see it. I'm excited. And here it is all dry. I am so happy with how this one dry guys. And I'm so happy that it dried in time to show you. So let me come down here and bring you in for a close up. I'm going to show you my favorite little spot here first. This part reminds me of galaxies or stars being born and like pushed out. 
into this great wide open galaxy universe. <laughs> So yeah, thank you guys. If you enjoyed watching this video, please do hit that thumbs up button. It really does help out with the algorithm. And if you enjoy acrylic pouring videos, well, consider subscribing because that's what I do here. Be sure to check out the other artists in this collaboration. If you're here on Premiere Day, just follow along. Britta Clayton is up next, followed by Christine Jazik. But if you're not here on Premiere Day, be sure to go down into my description and find the links to those artists' channels and uh, open cut pours for this collab. They're definitely worth a watch. I do want to show you one little spot down here where I messed it up as a reminder to be patient. So see how it's cracking right in here a little bit? That is because I was messing with it when it wasn't fully dry, it wasn't fully wet. It was like, I should have left it alone. Just leave it alone. The paints are thick. It might take a couple days to dry. This one took two full days to dry, but be patient, leave it alone, okay? <laughs> and on that note, I just wanna say thank you so much for watching. You know I appreciate it, and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>